Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor, the flavor, the flavor train. Get on the flavor train with your girl, Lady T. Ooh, yeah. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Tanya Lady T, and this is another edition of Lady T Sensations. Y'all are on the flavor train and all aboard, everybody. Why? Because the tickets are free. Y'all, tonight we're doing the rotisserie chicken. And of course, the world famous, best selling sauce on Amazon, B Love Smackalicious Sauce. Had to do it. Got some red and orange bell peppers. I got some pickles. Yeah, yeah, I've been on the pickle kick. Um, I've been sprinkling like garlic salt on it, but since we've already got, you know, our sodium in the sauce, I'm gonna just dip it in there. And then of course, rotisserie chicken. And I got some water. Big Bubba is chilling tonight. He had a rough ride. <laughs> anyway, let's just say grace and we're going to dust it off. Thank you, most gracious and heavenly Father, for the food I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body. Father God, I also want to lift up Australia. We know that uh, there's need there. There's a natural disaster going on and lives have already been lost. The animals of the field and the beast of the land. Lord God, I just ask that you supply the need that is needed there. I also want to live for Fit Angie. She's an awesome woman. She's a, a great supporter of the mukbang community and all communities here on YouTube. And again, I continue to lift up the mukbang community, that we be at peace, that we break bread with one another, we love on one another, and we just be at peace. Peace be still, Lord. We ask for peace to be still in Australia and peace be still within our mukbang community. I thank you and I love you. And we count it done. I speak it, I affirm that it is so. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, y'all, let's get in and dig in. I kept it whole together, so, you know, for the picture. But we finna hack it up. Just cut that bad boy right down the middle of that breastplate. Yes. And what I'm going to do with the rest of it, I'm going to do like my mama taught me. I'm going to make some... Um, Rotisserie chicken uh, salad. Yep. Let's pull that bad boy apart. And I'm probably not going to eat this whole chicken. Of course not, y'all. But I'm just, you know, I got to do it. Y'all got to do it. And this sauce is still very hot. Woo! Steaming, steaming. Oh, it's steaming. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. Oh, that's good. It's hot. Mmm. I got a little tray down here, y'all. Oh, wow, that's good on that. I chopped up some more onion. I'm telling you, I got another serving of this. We'll see how much I eat of this over there in the pot. So I'm telling you, just depending on how much you consume of this sauce, you can at least do this. Out of that one packet, you can do at least three or four times. That's why you don't even have to use it all. Do you a couple of scoops, add the ingredients to it. And like I said, if you're a cook, you know how to modify stuff. And let me just say this, because I am, or I know how to cook, trust and believe me, seasonings are not cheap. All the seasonings that she has in here, you go, if a people who go and shop and buy seasonings, yeah, you might can get that, you know, stuff that come in the dollar stuff, but that stuff don't, it don't even taste the same as the real good seasonings. And honey, 
you're going to pay some money. So $25 actually is not bad. It really is not, especially when you get the usage of it. Oh, that's good with the pickle. Oh, that's that tart with all this spiciness and onions. Are you kidding me? Mmm. I'm sure somebody else has already tried this. Wow, where have I been? Mmm. Tasty, tasty. Mmm, 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 mmm. Tasty, tasty. Wow, that is good, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. That's a good snack. Bell peppers in this sauce and pickles. It's off, it's just full of flavor. Everything is full of flavor. Oh yes, that water. I put some old, uh, spicy uh, chicken sauce in here too. That samyong. Mmm. Hot. Shout out to Grandma Karma One. Hi, I love you. Thank you so much, bro. Leaving the post on my last video. I pray that you are doing well, that the Lord continues to heal your heart. We miss Grandpa, Carl, and I know God has given you the strength and the endurance through this time. Amen. But yeah. I did want to make mention about uh, Fit Angie. Love you, my sister. Always supportive. 
when she goes away for a while and she comes back, she always checks in and says, hey, I've been gone a while, I've been dealing with this, been dealing with that. And uh, again, I just want to just shout her out. She does have a YouTube channel. Y'all check Fit Angie's channel out. Check out uh, Grandma Karma One channel. Um, again, both both of, of these women are very supportive, and um, and I may not say it, but I do. I keep a lot of people in this community, and just in general, in prayer. I really do. I'm a, I'm a praying woman. I really am. And um, anyway, I just want to make sure I make mention. Fit Angie, uh, we love you. We love you in this community. You, Like I said, you're always encouraging. You're always supportive. And so we just love you. I love you. Lady T loves you. And again, we please let's keep Australia. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I can remember when the first reports came out of all just hundreds and thousands of acres just burning. And it showed clips on the news of people going out re rescuing the koala bears and stuff. And my goodness, I, I, I when they were again talking about it a couple of days, I and, and, and honestly, I just got complacent. I thought, oh my God, that was almost a month ago. I remember it's the stuff is still burning, just like we have fires here in the United States and California. Um, it, it, it's almost because it's happened so often there that you just we just forget. I speak for myself. I just forget to lift lift that up in prayer. But I was just reminded again. Uh, the other day to, you know, that's why the word tells us to pray without ceasing. There's so much going on with it, excuse me, within our world. Um, even if we don't know specifics, Lord, the word tells us if my people who are called should humble themselves and pray, then I will heal the land. So as a Christian, that is my calling. And I have to remember God knows what's needed. I may not know the need all around this whole universe, but lifting up prayer, God heal our land where there's healing to take place. Broken hearts, broken minds. Lord heal where there's the need. And because he's a God that supplies all of our needs, Lord, you know what everybody's in need of before we even ask. So, anyway, I didn't want to get all deep on you, but it's, 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 it's necessary. Same way with our troops that are being deployed. Uh, both family members of mine have been deployed. Um, and y'all have seen them on this channel. Um, we just It's praying time, it really is. Always is, but even more so now. Oh, yes, oh, yes. <clears throat> wow, these sweet bell peppers are the business. I need to just stop and talk anyway so I can let this sauce cool down. Mm. We're supposed to go to the movies tonight, but I didn't hear nothing from nobody. I was out and about running errands and ran into mom at Sam's Club <laughs> when I got this reduced with chicken. Mm. She walked up behind me and almost scared the sensation out of me. I would just be like, Lady Tees. <laughs> she got me good. Oh wow, this is good, y'all. 
Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good to me. <clears throat> mm. Mm. That sweet and spicy on that sour pickle. Yummy. Piece of breast. Honk a honk a burning love. Look at the skin, y'all. Look at that skin, honey. You're winning with the skinning. The taste leaves me grinning. I was watching the episode of Judge Judy. I'm going to tell you something, y'all. People get in the most jacked up situations over their pets. And no, this ain't, this ain't got nothing to do with the pet itself. It's the owners, you know? I saw a bang. I'm about to snatch it up, honey. Get rid of it. This skin is good. It's right crispy. Has texture to it. Texture. Oh, y'all, that's good. Y'all want some? Mmm. This woman, she was going through, okay? So, she had, she found this lady that dog sits and, you know, has, I guess, like a doggy daycare overnight, whatever. Somebody say, who knew it was that expensive? That's some expensive tail mess. But that's the cost you pay. It's like children. We have to pay the cost to be the boss and put children in child care. Which, by the way, child care is, it exceeds the, the tuition cost of college. It's, it costs more to put your child in child care per year than college tuition per year. Yeah. Anyway, um, so this woman seeks out this lady who does doggy sitting, doggy daycare, and everything, and so. She had three dogs, okay? Whatever was going on, I can't even remember all the details of what this woman was going through that she needed to put place her, 
her pets in, in, in doggy daycare. She kept the dogs in daycare, all three, for six months. It was like 190 something days, whatever it was. Well, whenever she signed the contract with the lady, she, you know, the, the owners of the dog, and matter of fact, the woman even gave her a discount. She normally charges $45 per dog, but since she had three, she charged $45 for the first dog and $25 for the other two. So what, $90 per day. That's the charge. And that includes room, board, feeding them, walking them, taking care of them, the whole nine shebang. Well, honey, like I said, I was clueless. I was like, $90? But that's, hey. We, that ain't even, anyway. So that was the charge. That was the charge. So, uh, in the between the six months, the woman, the owner of the dog said, well, me, okay, y'all, sorry about that. I had to start over the recording. But anyway, so she, in, in the middle part of, um, the woman keeping the dogs, again, her and her ex-husband, the owner of the dog said her and her ex-husband, they share custody of the dogs. So I guess they, you know, take time out and swap the dogs out so much. So he was supposed to be paying half of whatever the fee was going to be. So meanwhile, back at the ranch, the ex-husband comes and pays like $7,000, like $7,400 because the total cost was close to over $16,000 for that six months. It was over $16,000. So whenever, you know, she came to pick up her dogs, the woman said, well, you know, I can't release your dogs to you until you pay me my money. Well, the woman called the police. The police came. The woman had to, you know, release the dog and say, hey, look, you can't hold her dogs hostage. You, you have to take her to civil court. So that's what the woman did. It's a civil matter. So that's what the woman did. And so the woman was saying, well, you know, I'm not paying th that money. And so the woman said, well, no, you know, judge, you would say, yeah, you <laughs> come on now. You, you, this is what you knew the fee. You knew what was, yeah, but my, I, I'm, I can't pay what's owed, which was like still a balance of over a little over $10,000. So unfortunately the most judge Judy could give her was $5,000 in small claims court. So, the other money she just ain't going to get. But I thought to myself, now you know good and daggone well. When you signed that contract, you knew that that was the cost. That woman paid for your, your dog for whatever reason you weren't able to take care of them. And that woman got stiff. So I don't know what the recourse is going to be. Because like I said, the, the woman won the judgment. Even though, you know, she, she still got shorted another, what, $5,000. But it's just amazing. You know, like I said, I like watching Judge Judy. She can be harsh. But you just think about it. She has to deal with people who are liars. And, and, and so what I'm saying is, you learn a lot just from watching her. You learn a lot about the law. And it's very interesting, the temperament of people. How people try to get over and get out, or get from out of doing something. But I thought to myself, $90 a day. And, may, and like I said, I'm not saying it's not worth it because I've never had to, you know what I mean, I've had pets. I 
mean, I, I don't know. As a business owner, you know, how can you, how do you protect yourself? Because do you make a person pay half of it up front? I know when I bought my furniture and ordered my furniture, honey, they made me, and this is for anybody, you have to pay a third of it up front. And what I did, I paid half up front. And then when the furniture came in, the day before it delivers, I paid the bounce off. But that's some serious money that you stiff somebody. I can see if the woman didn't perform the service. But that woman took care of your dog. And like I said, I'm leaving out little bits and pieces, but the gist of it is, this woman took care of your pets. They're like your children. And you stiff her. First you stiff her for 10. I, what did you think? She was just gonna let you, you know, forgive the other? I mean, you know, so so what? I don't know. I just thought that was a flim flam. That's one thing about when you have a business, you have to you have to anticipate people shafting you. You have to anticipate, you know, people just are not going to be honest. And you know what? You know what? I, ain't, I don't want to get all negative. Because, anyway, I'm just going to say, people can just be so dishonest. Openly, blatantly, can't they? But anyway, I said all that to say this. You know, I I, I really do enjoy watching Judge Judy because you can really learn a lot. And I think about all the things me as a homeowner. Just like, okay, I'm going to give you a perfect example. The other day, because of the wind, the rain, one of the tree branches fell down. And I happened to be on my porch. And this happens all the time. I'm sure we just never see it. And I just so happened to saw that tree branch fall down and hit the ground. And I thought, now see, if that was on somebody's property and somebody was walking under that tree, under the side, yeah. under the sidewalk, even though, you know, it's just nature. Wow, I said, now somebody could, they, they would have a right to sue you if that tree Cause some bodily, you know, a bodily injury or body harm. And when I'm watching Judge Judy, you see that kind of stuff all the time. It's very interesting what the law says about that. All right, y'all, I'm coming in for a dinner. This is really good. But I don't know. That's just certain things. That's what my mind is now. As a homeowner, you got to be thinking about different things and making sure you have a prote protection. In the event that something goes to the left. So it's the same way when you're a business owner. You just have to anticipate stuff. Mm. 
Mm. Wow, this is delicious. But anyway, Mm. Wow, that is good, that pickle. Mm. Last bite, y'all. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. I'm a happy camper. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Fabulous sight. So refreshing, so crisp, cold water. Oh, yes. It makes you smack your lips. Y'all, it's another good one. Rotisserie chicken and be love smack delicious sauce. Can't go wrong. Just can't go wrong. Anyway, y'all, thanks for listening to me, Jar Jack. For those of you who stayed to the end of the video. But yeah, y'all love this with Judge Judy, honey. You learn some stuff, honey. But anyway, let me go. Oh, I'm gonna call Mr. Rex, see what he's up to. Jar Jacking earlier today. He's a blessing to me, I'm telling you. But anyway, let me go. I'm trying to think, what am I going to eat tomorrow for dinner? I don't know. I might go have dinner with go to Mama's house and see what she cooking. She did the same thing with rotisserie chicken and salad, I believe. But I told her, I said, Ma, I got to go home and do a video with the sauce. <laughs> anyway, love y'all so much. Thank you for stopping on the flavor train with b Love Smack Alicia Sauce because what? What? Flavor is where it's at. Bye, y'all. Love y'all. <laughs> oh. Ooh, boom, shaka, laka, boom, 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 shaka, laka, 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 boom, boom.